لاکراہین دیر از نو کمپلیکٹ کمپلشن ان ریلیجن اور ان دین وٹ ڈز اٹ مین نو پرسن ول بی کمپیل ٹو ایمبریس اسلام نو پرسن ہیز ایور بین کمپیل ٹو ایکسپٹ اسلام بٹ ایز ریگارڈ دی سسٹم If the Muslims have power, they will never tolerate any unjust system and social order to prevail. There we shall use force. Individuals, a different case. Everybody, if he wants to remain a Hindu, remain a Hindu. If you want to remain a Christian, you remain a Christian. But the system will be changed. The rule will be of Allah. اسلام It is visually misunderstood. As far as the system is concerned, the collective system, the social order, that if we have power and we want to attain power to change it, that is called revolution. We are working for Islamic revolution to establish the system of Khilafah, sovereignty to Allah, and Khilafah for the Muslims. That will be the system. لا اقراح في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغيب The right path has been distinct has become distinct from the wrong path فمن يكفر بالطاعوت ويؤمن بالله So whoever this owns طاعوت What is طاعوت? Everything which is rebellious against Allah is طاعوت Every institution which doesn't accept divine sovereignty and authority is taboo. The non-Islamic state is the biggest taboo on earth. Taboo are not only individuals; the systems are taboo. Taga, taga. What does it mean, taga? When you have transgressed your limits, you are tagi. Taga means. To go beyond the limits. You must be a bondman to Allah. You should be a servant to Allah. You must obey Allah. You were created for His ibadah. If instead of being servant of Allah, you become master. I am the ruler. I have the, uh, the sovereignty. You are in, in, in revolt against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are ta'awad. So you have to deny Ta'ud first. And then you should have faith in Allah. You have to say La ilaha first. And then in Allah. Denial is first. Affirmation comes after that. The same is the thing here. Whosoever denies, declares that he is buried. From this Ta'ud. And then he believes in Allah. So he has grasped in his hand. A firm hand hold. Which will never give way. And Allah is all listening. All doing. Allah is all listening. All doing. Allah is the protector and helper and guardian. Wali, you know, is a very profound word of Arabic. You can't translate it, can't give its connotation in one word in English. Allah is the protector and the guardian and the supporter of those who have real faith. يُخْرِجَهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ مِنَ النُّورِ He keeps them taking out from various shades of darkness into light. Zulmat always you will find in Quran in plural. There are different shades of darkness. There is shirk, there is kufr, there is nifaq, there is ilhad, 
so many shades, different shades of darkness. Light is one, and darkness has different shades. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always keeps bringing them out from the shades of the darkness into light. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَوْلِيَاهُمُ الطَّاغُوتِ As for those who don't believe, who disbelieve, their supporters are the ta'ut. They are the brothers and supporters. They are the mutual support. They are supporting ta'ut and ta'ut is helping them. يُخْرِجُونَهُمْ مِنَ النُّورِ إِلَى الظُّلُمَاتِ And these ta'ut, they keep on taking them away from light into different shades of darknesses. This is the process going on side by side. Allahu waliyu al-lazina amanu yukhrijahu min al-zulumati ilal-nur. Allahumma rabbana jalna minhum. Allahumma rabbana jalna minhum. May Allah include us in these people whose wali is Allah himself. And he takes them out from these different shades of darkness into light. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَوْلِيَاهُمُ الطَّاغُوتِ يُخْرِدُونَهُمْ مِنَ الْنُورِ إِلَى الظُّلُمَاتِ اللَّهُمْ رَبَّنَا لَا تَجْعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أُولَائِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ They are the people of fire and they will remain in that forever. أَلَمْ تَرَا إِلَى الَّذِي حَاجَّ إِبْرَاهِيمَ فِي رَبِّهِ Again the same word أَلَمْ تَرَا Did you never ponder about the person الَّذِي حَاجَّ إِبْرَاهِيمَ who argued with Ibrahim fi rabbihi about his lord, his, his rab who is your rab now this person is the Buddh the king of Iraq at the time of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam Namrud was also a titan just as Siron Fara'ina the kings of Misr of Egypt they were Fara'ina the kings of Babylonia which we now call Iraq, they were Namarida. So actually Namrud and Firaun, they are not names, they are titles. Just as Firaun, Namrud. Alam tara ilal ladhi haadja Ibrahim. So as we say, Firaun of Moses. So Namrud of Ibrahim, of the time of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Hazrat Ibrahim was presented in the court of the king. There, there this, this dialogue went on. He was arguing about God, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about the Rabb of Ibrahim, only because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had gave him the kingship. He became arrogant. He himself claimed to be God. I am the authority. Just as you know the Firaun of Egypt had said, Ana Rabbukum ala salibul kumisr. It's not for me, the kingdom of Egypt. All this irrigation system is under my control. I will allow water to only those whom I please. It is all under my, in, the, in my head, under me. In the same way, he was the master of his country. When Ibrahim said, alayhi salatu was salam, My Lord is he who gives life and puts death. Kala ana ohi wa umid. He said, I have these powers also. And the tradition goes that he fetched and called two people who had been condemned. They were in the prison. That sentence had been passed on them. Called them in the court. The one he set free, I have given him life. The other he instantly, he ordered to be slain. Him I have killed. I have the authority. Now Hazrat Ibrahim said, Qala Ibrahim, My God, my Allah, I believe in that God, in that Allah, who makes the sun rise from the east. If you claim to be God, if you claim to have authority, now just you order the sun to rise from the west. For Bohit Allah kafar. At this, that kafir remained confounded. He couldn't say anything. Wallahu la yahdi al-qawmaz And Allah doesn't give guidance to such evildoers, such unjust people.